Well, this is the next engine <coughs> up for restoration, and it's been patiently waiting on my shelf for about three years now. This is a UK made uh, Bowman model steam engine, and it dates from around, well, it's they're difficult to date exactly, but we'd be looking at 1920, late 1920s to early 1930s. That would be the best guess on this. A well, Bowman were an interesting uh, model engine, model steam engine manufacturer, because with their stationary engines, they made two lines, or two ranges. The engines were identical, but the bases were different. So the metal-based model steam engines were known as M, and then a number after it. And then they made the wooden-based ones, like this one, which were called E, with the number after it. So for, for, for the vast majority of them, there was an identical metal-based one and an identical wooden-based one. Now, this is an E158. This, this would be sort of the smaller end. I mean, there were smaller engines. I mean, this is quite small, this one, but there were smaller ones, and obviously there were much larger ones. But this, this would be sort of middle to lower size range of their engines. Um, and fortunately, I have... Uh, an M158 as well, which uh, I will bring out and we will put them side by side you can, so you can have a look at them. But this one is, uh, I, I, th I think I fairly certainly got this off of eBay, I said it was three years ago now. And, and it's in very good condition, missing its burner, but everything else is there. And yeah, so uh, it's not going to, I don't think, necessarily need a lot of work, um, other than the fact that it's got the rather unusual... Um, fact that we've got a curved piece of wood that it's sat on so I've got to try and straighten that out now obviously it's painted and, and uh, but the paint's not in particularly good condition and what's left of the decal here is almost completely gone so so I shall probably have to repaint the base anyway so I'm not too bothered about uh, you know worried about that in the in the straight but straightened out process but hopefully we can this banana shaped curve in the base we can get that straightened out so uh, yeah, very, very nice little engine. Bowman's run superbly. They, they really are lovely little engines. So um, we'll get on and take this one apart. But as I said, first, I'll bring down its metal base brother uh, and we'll put them side by side so that you get indication of what they look like together. Well, here are the two engines side by side. Here we have the wooden based E158 and this is the more common metal based M158. The the metal-based Bromans are very definitely more common. You see far more of those up for sale than you do the wooden-based ones. So basically, these engines are identical. They're, all of this part, the boiler, the firebox, is exactly the same on both of them. Now, my M158 is missing a pulley here, but other than that, it's exactly the same. Now, the keen-eyed amongst you will have probably spotted the fact that these have different chimneys. And I'll turn this around and put them end on like that so you can compare the two and we'll have a have a close-up look at the chimneys there we go now let's move it across a bit the correct chimney is the one on this engine that is a bowman uh, proper bowman chimney this i think is something that someone has made probably because the chimney went went missing some of the Bowman models, actually, uh, the chimney was an optional extra. Uh, not all of them had the exhaust piped into the chimney. Some of them, it was just um, it was just there for display, and you could buy the engine with or without the chimney. I think it was a, to have the chimney included with the engine, it was an extra shilling, something like that, I think, back in those days. But yes, so this is the correct chimney, and this is uh, someone one that's once somebody's fabricated but they've done a pretty good job i mean it looks lovely there's nothing wrong with it it's it, it, slightly smaller diameter than the than the original but you know what the hell looks okay so let's come back out again better than not having one at all i would assume that that was probably what the uh, the people that own the engine were thinking at the time so yeah there you go there you can see the uh, the two side by side and hopefully, uh, once we finish cleaning this one up, it's going to look a little bit like this one. So, E158, M158. Well, here's the engine stripped down to its component parts. Very easy to do with the Bowman's. No desoldering required. Everything is just nuts and bolts. And there's even a threaded union on the main steam, steam pipe from the boiler. 
so that's that's real easy so as i said we've got to tackle straightening this wooden base out i could make a new one but i thought we'd have a go at trying to straighten that out before we go down that route everything else just needs a good clean up i'll probably repaint the firebox the boiler strap and the and the engine mount uh, very very simple to do um, so yeah that's where we are at the moment so the first attempt we're going to do uh, straightening this you, there, you, there you can quite easily see the curve in it is to use the heat gun technique which is to heat up the back of the curved part of the wood and then it cool down and that should help in fact it may even flatten it out completely but um we're going to give it give it a go and uh, <laughs> i'm going to show you a little bit of this because obviously the heat gun is quite noisy let it warm up a bit There we go. And basically you just warm up this bit in the middle. And I'm going to do this for, 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 for quite a few minutes. I'm going to get it quite hot. And then you let it cool down. That's the, that's the idea anyway. So we'll come back uh, after I've done this for a while. Well, the heat treatment didn't really do anything. I think it might, might have changed it a little bit, but if it did it was it was very minor i'm not too surprised at that uh, the heat treatment meant generally works much better on new wood or newer wood and this is very very old piece of wood so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to sand it down get all the paint off and then we'll soak it in water and see what see what that does well my second attempt at flattening the base out has been much more successful obviously i sanded all the paint off and then i simply let it soak in a bowl of water overnight and it's not completely flat but it is a hell of a lot hell of a lot uh, better than it was before i think you can still see there's a slight curve a slight curve on on the underside here still but compared to the fact that it was almost like a banana before have a look at this end much 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 better so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to clamp it between a couple of plates to hopefully take out that final bit of the bend and uh, then let it dry out and we should be good to go well <coughs> the base the wooden base for the e158 is in its last stage i hope flattening out got it clamped between these two thick heavy metal plates and i'm going to leave it like that um for about a week it's been it's been in that situation now for one, two days yeah i think two or three days so obviously when it went in the the wood was still wet but it's starting to dry out as well now so what i'm hoping is that it will dry out during the course of its clamping and that means that hopefully it should stay flat once it comes out of the clamps that's the that's the plan anyway so now we move on to the next thing which is to concentrate on the rest of the engine Let's have a quick look at this closing on that there we go and those parts all need <coughs> attacking with the wire wheel i've already given them a going over with the paint stripper and that's been quite effective but now i need to clean them up the final clean up um, needs to be done on the wire wheel and that should get all of that off and then I'll use a, a small wire wheel to clean up the inside of the firebox so that's the next stage well it's been a week since we clamped up the Bowman E158 wooden base between these plates and it's time to take the clamps off and see whether we've actually managed to straighten flatten out the base and i honestly haven't had these clamps off this is the this is me doing it for the first time since we put them on a week ago and of course when we put the base in uh, in this clamp setup it was wet so it has almost certainly dried out since then 
more, the majority of it has anyway. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty flat to me. I think that's worked a treat. Yeah, excellent. There we go, pretty damn good. Good enough for me. And a hell of a lot better than it was. There's a very slight fall off at the edges, but I think that may, may just be a thinning of the base rather than it being curved. I mean, you know, it, it is not, as far as I can see, in any significant way now cupped as it was before so it's that way up that's the top so yeah job done we need to let that dry out a bit more obviously the middle part here where it was was clamped that's still that's still dampish so we just need to let it dry out a little bit and then it can be painted and we're ready to put the thing back together but while i've been waiting for the base to flatten out I've cleaned all the other parts up, as you can see. It's been nice and shiny. And I've painted the firebox and the border strap. And I've also painted the engine frame, but that's that's I only did that yesterday, so that's still dry and hard enough. So we need to get let this dry out properly, which it it's it's not far off. I mean, it, you know, it, it, it's, it's not obviously not completely dry yet. But we need to let that dry out. Then I can paint that, get the base painted, and we'll really be ready then to put it all back together. The Bowman E158 is finally done. I'm very pleased with it actually. It turned out very well indeed. Bowman engines are just lovely to work on. They're so easy. As I said, everything screws together. You haven't got to unsolder anything to take it apart. They're always made from good quality metal. They're, 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 just, they're just nice engines basically. So yeah, full disclosure on the base though. <laughs> when it finally dried out and I was ready to paint it it had started to recurve slightly so in the end I used the belt sander and flattened off both sides so that it was completely flat so it, the, the base is slightly thinner than it, than it was originally but um, you know I did try my best to flatten it out and in the end I still had to sand it a little bit but it was only it was only slight, so that's great. It's it's not you know you barely notice the difference unless you actually measured one that hadn't been sanded. You know you wouldn't know the difference. But yeah, it's turned out all right. I'm very pleased with it. So the next job obviously is to get it steamed, which uh, hopefully shouldn't prove a problem. Bowman's generally never have a problem steaming them. They're they're just uh, dead easy. Okay, well we've got water in the boiler. I'm using the little Bix gas burner to um, actually heat the water. I do have an original Bowman burner, but for some reason, this is a really tight fit. This is the M158 burner, and it's a real tight fit in the uh, E158. So I decided, no, we'll go with the Bix for this. So. Oh, I think we're nearly ready already. Well, I mean, that didn't take long. I think we're very nearly there. And she's off. Look at that. As I said, Bowman's are just lovely, lovely engines. No problem at all. You see that lovely smoke pouring out of the chimney there. Look at that. I always love to see that. That's just so good. And she definitely is moving under her own steam. She's actually moving around under her own steam. <laughs> there we go. So, see if I can turn the burner down a little bit. No regulator on this one. So, obviously it just runs. Isn't that lovely? If you're into model steam engines, uh, and you don't already have one, I thoroughly recommend you get yourself one of the many Bowman models. They're just lovely. I'll change the camera angle. Of 
quite simply just purrs along. And this is the first time I've run this engine since I've had it. I never ran it before I restored it. So. And the, the actual cylinder and piston just cleaned and oiled. That's all that was done to it. Same with the gearing, flywheel, that's all. Absolutely lovely. Yes, I, as you probably gathered, I'm a big fan of Bowman engines. They are just superb. This one's no exception. So there you go, the Bowman E158, one of the few wooden-based Bowmans I've actually got. Running like a trooper, first time in steam after it's been restored. Yes, I'm very, very pleased with that. It's turned out to be a real treat. Well, I think that's about it. We'll turn the gas off. Probably won't take long to run down because the gearing is obviously creating some drag on it. There you go. Bowman E158, first steaming after it's been restored, runs absolutely superbly. Hope you've enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching. Cheers!